Kalalu, Wikipedia article audio. Kalalu is a popular Caribbean dish originating in West Africa served in different variants across the Caribbean. The main ingredient is a leaf vegetable, traditionally either amaranth, taro, or xanthosoma. Both are known by many names, including kalalu, coco, tanya, baji, or dashin bush. Because the leaf vegetable used in some regions may be locally called kalalu or kalalu bush, some confusion can arise among the vegetables and with the dish itself. In Haiti, for example, the Creole word kalalu refers to okra, and not to a leafy green. Outside of the Caribbean, water spinach is occasionally used. Trinidadians, Grenadians, and Dominicans primarily use taro slash dashin bush for kalalu, although Dominicans also use water spinach. Jamaicans, Belizeans, and Guyanese on the other hand use the name kalalu to refer to amaranth, and use it in a plethora of dishes and also a drink. The kalalu made in Jamaica is different from the kalalu made in Trinidad and Tobago and Grenada in terms of main ingredient and other ingredients included. Kalalu in Trinidad and Tobago and other Eastern Caribbean countries is generally made with okra and dashin or water spinach Ipomoea aquatica. There are many variations of kalalu which may include coconut milk, crab, conch, Caribbean lobster, meats, pumpkin, chili peppers, and other seasonings such as chopped onions and garlic. The ingredients are added and simmered down to a somewhat stew-like consistency. When done, kalalu is dark green in color and is served as a side dish which may be used as a gravy for other food. Plant Sources for Kalalu Leaves Kalalu Recipes Kalalu is widely known throughout the Caribbean and has a distinctively Caribbean origin, created by enslaved Africans using ideas of the indigenous people along with both African and indigenous plants. African Americans invented a version of the original West African dish known as collard greens. Trinidadians have embraced this dish from their ancestors and over time have added ingredients such as coconut milk to modify its flavor. Kalalu is mostly served as a side dish, for Trinidadians, Bajans, and Grenadians it usually accompanies rice, macaroni pie, and a meat of choice. In Guyana it is made in various ways without okra. In Jamaica, Kalalu is often combined with salt fish and is usually seasoned with tomatoes, onion, escallion, scotch bonnet peppers and margarine slash cooking oil and steamed. It is often eaten with roasted breadfruit, boiled green bananas and dumplings and it is a popular breakfast dish. In Granada, kalalu is steamed with garlic, onion and coconut milk and often eaten as a side dish. Grenadians also stir or blend the mixture until it has a smooth consistent texture. Kalalu soup comprising kalalu, okra, dumplings, ground provision like yam, potato chicken, and beef is traditionally eaten on Saturdays. It is also one of the most important ingredient in oil down, the island's national dish comprising steamed breadfruit, kalalu, dumplings, ground provision, carrot, and several varieties of meat salt fish, chicken, pork. All of this is steamed in coconut milk and saffron powder. Salt and pepper is added. Due to the high iron content of kalalu, Grenadians douse it down with a fruit drink high in vitamin C especially as iron could only be absorbed in the presence of vitamin C. In the Virgin Islands, kalalu is served with a dish of fungi on the side. In Guadeloupe, kalalu o crab is a traditional Easter dish. A similar variation is the recipe called lading which is popular in the Philippines, mainly the Baikal region.